Like a mist out in the past, I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me nasty. But you find me nowadays, I've mended all my ways. Repentance seems to lighten me to switch true loves. And I'm conscious of no one little magic. It's a quality I always had to lose. And here lately, please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of the miserable, the lonely, and depressed. Poor unfortunate souls in pain, in need. This longing to be free, that one wants to get the girl. And do I help them? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Poor unfortunate souls, so sad and so true. They can tap into my cause and crying spells are little please, and I help them. Yes, I help the poor souls trapped in painful spells, and they couldn't pay the price. And I'm afraid I had to rake them across the coals. Yes, I've had the odd complaint, but on the whole, I've paid a say for those poor unfortunate souls. The men up there don't like a lot of blabber. They think a girl who gossips is a bore. Yes, on land, it's much preferred for ladies not to say a word. And after all, dear, what is idle prattle for? Come on, they're not all that impressed with conversation. True gentlemen avoid it if they can. But they don't miss women fawn on a lady who's withdrawn. And she holds a tongue against a man. Come on, you poor unfortunate souls. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a very busy woman and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much, just your voice. You poor unfortunate soul, it's sad, but true. If you want to cross a bridge with strength, you've got to pay the toll. Take a gulp and take a breath and go ahead and sign the scroll. Close and yet still now we've got a voice. The boss is on a roll for this poor unfortunate soul.
Hi everybody, welcome to the stream. I'm your host, Panthenea Silverwood, and this is Painting with Pam. Hi guys! Sorry for the delays tonight. Uh, I was trying to get a couple of things taken care of before stream so that you guys weren't terribly bored. So tonight, we're going to be working with this beautiful purple and teal little bit of magenta pink in here pearlescent pour i did here let's turn down turn down the music just a smidge here we go anyway we're going to be working with this canvas you know i've already cut and placed our masking for our planets we're going to do three planets tonight because why the hell not You'll find a lot of my art actually is boils down to why the hell not. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get our sky color mix here. Come on. Give me the large black. Mare. A little bit of Mars black, some phthalo blue. If I fix I sit. Hi, Alex. Eat the box. Eat the box. Eat the box. Eat the box. Okay, let's box this. And we're going to do a lot more with the sky on this one. Because there's a whole lot more sky to work with on this one. Make sure that's out of the way. We don't get pink all over the electronics. And we're gonna rotate this. Whoop. 
I'm gonna beg your patience for a second, guys. I am going to attempt to adjust my cat screen. No worries. Hi, Quartzy. We're adjusting the chat window here real quick. Yeah, that will have to work today. Um, uh, Alrighty. Now that I've got paint all over me. <laughs> but now I can see in the chat and try not to get paint on my tablet. <laughs> Hello, Ray. All right, guys. I'm going to fix something really quick with my VTuber. Oh, 
bummer. All right, we're gonna go rinse out this brush really quick and I'm gonna get myself some fresh water and I shall return shortly. You guys, I am back. Put the headset back on. There we go. Now comes the fun part. We watch paint dry and we chat. How's everybody's week going? How was everyone's Halloween? Did you guys have fun? That's some bummer luck on the slaws. Gray coma really is. I'm sorry that you couldn't find any slaws. Mmm. You know, quiet nights at work can be a double edged sword. On the one hand, you don't really have to deal with a lot of problem customers. On the other, um, it makes the night drag. <laughs> So if you aren't in the Discord, you guys you missed out on seeing a cool picture. Um, Pocket Tank and I went to a local amusement park that's essentially 
a fantasy LARP. And we had a lot of fun. It was really, really interesting and playful. And we're going to go again. Oh, housework. Yeah, yeah. You know, having to do all of those things yourself is kind of one of the downsides of being an adult. <laughs> reach here and get all the paint off my hands for a minute because holy crap this blue stains stains skin stains clothes it just plain stains if i can get it off quickly i don't end up with dark blue spots all over my hands for a week Fair, fair. You got visitors coming? My brush. Dead on my painting. You don't want to dust that. In the areas here some of this extra off of this mask and this brush is shedding too there there there. Well, I hope it, it'll be an improvement. I, I hope the change will be a positive one. While we wait for this to dry, I am going to get out. Be 
sponges are a different shape than I thought they were. Oh, no, this one's just cut funky. Okay. <laughs> Or just squished funky. Yeah, we'll save this one for a different. Lauren! Welcome to the stream. How was your Halloween? Do anything fun? So I'm shredding these sponges. I'm not sure if you guys can see. So that they're irregular in shape. What? Boy, am I glad that Fireworks are illegal except for like two weeks a year here, maybe three. I mm -hmm, I wouldn't survive it. Especially back when I lived in part of town where gang violence happens. Getting close to dry. A little bit further to go. Back to another sponge. I'm going to try something here. Hopefully this doesn't kill my bit rate and make me start dropping frames. Sometimes it does. There we go. If you are a stream partner, I am currently in Discord Voice. You can come and chat with me. Well, we're just about ready to get started on the next step. I 
the fun. Actually, you know what? How about we go join one of my friends? Let me poke him. Hoping to see if they're just chatting or if they're doing something specific. If I fit, I sit. Eat the box. Eat the box. Eat the box. Eat the box. Check those boxes. No, you're good, Ren. You're good. I'm going to poke Zim and see if the they're just chatting. Okay, guys, before we finish this up. Ready. Okay, you want me to Bob Ross you? All right, I will Bob Ross you. Let's find the Bob Ross button. I believe, I believe, every day's a good day when you Oops, hang on, that is in the wrong spot. I believe, I believe, every day's a good day when you paint. I believe, 
I believe it'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart. I believe, I believe every day's a good day when you paint. I believe, I believe it'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart. Let's build a happy little cloud. Let's build some happy little trees. There are no limits here. We start out by believing here. You can almost paint with anything. All you have to do is practice. There are no limits here. You start out by believing here. This is your world. You're the creator. Find freedom on this canvas. Believe that you can do it. Because you can do it. You can do it. Give it a little touch. Give it a little push. Make love to make canvas. Love to make Give it a little touch. Give it a little push. Push it. Push Caress it. Very gentle. Grab it, lift it, lift it, fluff it. You can go on and on and on. Back and forth, back and forth and forth. Layer after layer after layer. Let's build a happy little cloud. Let's build some happy little trees. There are no limits here. You start out by believing here. Is it your world? You're the creator. Find freedom on this canvas. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Relax, relax, let it flow, let it think like water, think like water, water, think like relax, let it flow. You can go on and on and on. We don't make mistakes, mistakes. We just have happy accidents. You can do anything that you want to do. Total power. Sing along, have a good time. Freedom on this canvas. Believe that you can do it. Because 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 you can do it. I believe. I believe. Every day's a good day when you paint. I believe. I believe. It will bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart. I believe. I believe. Every day's a good day when you paint. I believe. I believe. It will bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart. And there's your Bob Ross made, right? I hope you enjoyed that time lapse of the Mural of Doom, also known as the birthplace of my dreams. That piece is currently on display at Dreamscapes in Sandy, Utah. And it looks like they are just chatting, so I'm going to go see about joining some friends tonight. How's that sound? Then you don't have to just listen to me tonight. <laughs> All right, where's it at? There it is. Got room for one more. Room for one more. <laughs> Hi, guys. Figured, well, I'll, I'll, I'll come join you guys while I stream a little bit of uh, painting. Need it when that happens. Hashtag technical difficulties. <laughs> well, today I am actually working on a 14 by 14 square canvas that I poured earlier this year with a pearlescent purple and pink and uh, teal combo and we've masked off three planets and we're working on a new landscape.
This is Artist's Rendition. So we're not doing Jupiter like we did uh, last week. <laughs> this, this is a faraway alien landscape. Because why not? You do. You do. Uh, text message, probably from Pocket Tank. Oh, I know, right? Yeah, Sesame Street's still a thing. Oh, gosh, no, they threatened to, but, uh... <laughs> Well, to be honest, they keep all the PBS has to do is replay for Congress the time that Mr. Rogers went before Congress. Eh, it's mediocre. I will, I will admit. I don't know about that one. I haven't heard anything verifiable on that. I agree. Uh oh. Oh crap, it's never good. Oh no. Hello, Dragon Assassin. point. Trying to save us. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> that is absolutely cursed. Yeah, we would.
giant Humpty Dumpty run walking down Fifth Avenue. Blood ball, <laughs> blood ball, blood ball, blood ball. Ah. Video killed the radio star. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> yeah, probably. All right, let's add some color to this nebula. Oh, I know my way. You sunk my destroyer. I'm realizing that uh, my viewers couldn't hear you because uh, I had turned off my desktop audio. Oops. Oh, that's fine. They just think we're a bunch of flashy icons on the bottom. No, yeah. the path was just talking to themselves. I mean, on my yep. stream, they all are just a bunch of flashy icons. Yeah, just let your viewers think you're crazy. We're furries. <laughs> it's not like it matters. Everyone assumes we are anyway. I mean, I do have paperwork that proves it. Yeah, hey, paperwork that we're furries? No, I have paperwork that proves that I'm crazy. Oh, okay. Ah. Mm. 
I'll be like, I want to see this official documentation. I'll hang it up on my wall. <clears throat> well, aren't we I'm an official all person. a little mad? Yeah. Well, I'm mad enough the government's going to start paying me every month for it. I'm still waiting for my hearing for that. Yeah. They took two to three years, depending. Um, They're getting through them faster because they're doing them virtually. But if you don't have a lawyer, get it. Oh, it turns out if we do things virtually, things get done faster. Who would have thought? That's Except amazing. Yeah, no, for me, it's I'm still waiting with the lawyer to get the original case so I can get denied so I can actually file the appeal to get approved. Okay, so you're on your first application. I'm on my first application three years in. Okay. Yeah. Back when the big I feel old for you, man. Happened, Minnesota decided, let's not touch any court cases, not even the critical ones. Yeah. Oh, we have everything backlogged, even Oops. congressional court cases. Gonna funk it. Huh. Well, I guess yeah. we work on those first and see what we feel like next. Yeah, yeah, for a late. Ooh, 8,000 bucks for, like, changing hey. out five parts? Man, that's good. No, they they got to the point where disability cases had to get pushed down below, like, murder cases and stuff. Oh, just wow. Because Time for sure. Just be... No, just because statutes of limitations for things were starting to get close for things. They, they did not think through the court shutdown at all. That usually tends to be the case with such things, I've noticed. Luckily, Utah was tech-savvy enough. We were doing all court virtually within six months. Minnesota started doing that in, I think, May of 21. Mm, a little late to the party. Just a little bit. Just, just, just a teensy it's tiny bit. The thing that just amuses me the most right now, though, is the fact that people are, like, insisting that we need to be going back to the offices and whatnot, when it was shown that, like, there's so yeah. many jobs out there, you don't have to do that, and people are like, no, I don't want to. I know I can do this not in the office. And that's why a lot of people decided to quiet quit, and then mm -hmm. actually quit. I saw an article here where it said, like, oh, quiet quitting is done and over with. I'm like, yeah, no, it ain't. It's like no, no, it ain't. You're forcing us. It's to also, it's also not that. new either. <laughs> Quiet quitting at the scale it's been doing has been uh, much different from the past. But quiet quitting's been happening happening for decades. People yeah. just give up, and it's like I will go. I will do ex hashtag malicious compliance. I will do exactly what my job description is, and nothing more. Someone who gets malicious compliance. Yeah. Yes. It's, I'm going well, to well, it's, it's, it's just a difference in what's being called now. It's not, no longer being called malicious compliance. It's being called... Oh, no, there's still malicious compliance. Oh, yeah. There's oh, still yeah, plenty of malicious compliance. still call it malicious <laughs> compliance. Um, quiet quitting is just, instead of somebody telling you to just do your job, it's like, well, fine, you're not going to pay me for the extra work I'm doing. I'm not going to do the extra work anymore. Yep. Yeah. Which I say I... is deservedly so. I've been proudly a quiet quitter for more than a decade. It all started with Sears. Yeah, I can see that. And then I actually quit and went to Walmart, and I realized, huh, I should have just stayed at Sears. Oh well. <laughs> I... I mean, I could have had a job the... that was... Oh, sorry, Zim. All of the pushing for going back to the offices, it's coming from the corpor the corporations. And, and the 90-year-old white men who run Who them. don't have to, like, drive every single day back and through work. Well, and who believes that your, your job should be your entire uh, identity, and they can't make it so that you they constantly are giving you propaganda to try and make it your entire identity if you're not in the office for them to mm -hmm. randomly go rah rah sis boom bah 
again, oh. to answer that question, Panthea, the answer is the 90-year-old white men who are missing their tea times. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, there, everyone, when it comes to the older business businesses and whatnot, maybe even a lot of the newer ones, is that they're still stuck in a time when having your life or your job could be a thing because it was actually worthwhile to do so. Bosses yeah. tended to care. Money was good. You could actually support yourself and feel live a fulfilled life. That's not the case anymore. So Nowadays, they're stuck in 1911? Yeah, exactly. Nowadays, we still have that mentality, or a lot of those bosses and businesses do, but the thing is that the reality is not. They're expecting us to work hard on that when there's nothing to back it up anymore. Yeah, you can't support a family for on a single income anymore. Yeah. You know, why should I care about the company when the company doesn't care about me? Precisely. Yeah. And That's why they, I quit corporate America and became an artist. Their... They don't take care of their employees. Uh, like, for me, I was freaking lucky with my boss when I was working security. My boss actually gave a shit about me. But he also, you know, he, he was a uh, retired uh, SLCPD uh, SWAT uh, trainer. He, he was a, a sergeant for that. And, uh, but he gave a shit about us. Uh, he knew that the company at the college was just more than happy to use and abuse us. And so he, he actually gave us this thing he called Tony time, where it was basically paid time off, but off the books. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, uh, as far as... As far as the college was concerned, yes, we were there doing our jobs the entire time. As far as we were concerned, we just filled out the paper saying we were here and uh, went off home and uh, enjoyed our evenings. <laughs> so, like, I've worked for companies that, like, in the game industry, right, It's I've worked for companies that legitimately did care about people, but you had to be, like, the best of the best in order to, like, be worthy know, of that. that level. Well, you were worthy of that if they hired you, like just straight up. Yeah. They, they only hired who they thought, you know, was the best of the best. And if you got hired and you were useful and you basically was if you get hired, then you get all these, you know, all these things. Like I got some of the best health insurance, you know, $19 an hour for an entry level job, which made it to where I could move out on my own. I could get my own apartment. I could have my own place and live on my own comfortably. At the same time, though, like, they demanded a lot, and they demanded that you worked hard. Like, they basically said, hey, listen, um, we, dem you know, we expect to have all your professional time. And for a lot of people, yeah, that worked out because, you know, for, like, their benefits were, hey, I don't need to pay for anything dental, and I don't need to pay for anything, uh, anything with regards to medical. I get unlimited time off when I need to. It's just when the company needs me, I need to be there. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a company, though, that's trying to take care of you. Like, yeah. it's fine working hard, so mm -hmm. long as you're working hard for a good reason. Yeah. And Not granted, just like, working hard and just, you know, expected to slave away until eventually you burn out. Yeah, and, and granted, like that, I mean, all, all companies have their, uh, their qualms. Like, cer certainly that company wasn't perfect. Mm -hmm. um, but... You know, they they also kind of knew they weren't perfect, and they didn't they didn't hide the fact that yes, they made mistakes, which I I appreciate. You know, in the end, like it didn't work out for that company, but for other reasons, totally unrelated. And you know, I I still to this day think that yeah, no, it's not that they didn't like they don't not care about their employees. There there are exceptions to the uh, the standard. That we deal with today. There's so always there exceptions to every exceptions. rule. Oh, yeah. Granted, but granted, those granted. exceptions are few and far between when it comes to companies that care about and take care of their employees. Yep. Well, the thinking is, is that companies that take care of their employees get the best talent, which means they make the best product, which means they make the most money. 
because yeah, when but you're the not... people that generally run these corporations, you can tell them that until you're blue in the face, and they won't believe you. Yeah, and then they <laughs> wonder. They're just like, "Why are we not making profits? It's why just are like, we well, hemorrhaging talent?" Well, when yeah. you're looking at something like, say, CEOs, why should they give a shit? Whether the company succeeds or fails doesn't matter. They've already made their their income. They've a hell of yeah. anything. When they fail, they get more. Why should they give yeah. a shit? Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's it's really the the stockholders that really care, because it's like if the company fails, uh, well, that's their money. But then the stockholders don't really care. Just as long as they're making, you know, bank, they they could care less. Yeah, I'm going to go get another soda bear back. And the majority of stockholders nowadays are large investment firms with ruthless business people as the investor relation groups who will just go out of their way to push for any any margins that can be trimmed up. To make more profits well and uh yeah. we've we've moved away from the original stance of the stock market which was um you would sell stock in your company to raise money and then you would buy that stock back when you had made started to make money on that stock now we treat it as an investment opportunity and we pay dividends to stock holders until they sell the stock instead of until the stock is paid back right and as a result, you now have things like politicians insider trading and mm -hmm. just absolute bullshit like that. And it makes it so that the, the large corporations have such an advantage because they're never paying back this stock that think of it like a, a forest with old growth trees. All these old growth trees exist, and it makes it very difficult for the small new trees to actually grow up because they're not getting enough sunlight because there's only so much money to go around. They're not well, satisfied with one some of the money. Of they want dollars? all. Yeah. They want all of the money. Um, that was one of the problems we faced as a small local game store was... Um, the last year we were open, uh, Amazon overtook every other retailer, including Walmart, as the number one retailer in the world. Um, mm -hmm. And so it wasn't like number one brick and mortar, number one online, no, number one period. And so when I was trying to sell board games during the holidays for what I could purchase them for, but... Either A, my distributor was out of said board game because they had just filled an order to Walmart, Target, or Amazon. Or B, um, my uh, customers were having people pull the games out of their hands and hand them their phone because it was $5 cheaper on Amazon. You know, you can't compete in that market. It's just not possible. Yeah. Yeah. That's why Monopoly seems to start getting broken up a little bit. Yeah, I think Amazon needs now. to get knocked down a peg or two, clearly, because... At very least, they need to start getting taxed. Like, holy shit, they paid again zero dollars in tax this year. Taxed and a lot more enforcement of workers' rights regulations. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then again, you have, comp you have delivery companies that when people try to enforce the workers' right regulations, they'll just be like, okay, we'll move countries. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, if only it was that easy. Well, that was what manufacturers did about 20 yep. years ago. They all bailed to China because it's like, yeah. India. It's like, enforce... Uh, one of the best examples is the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory in New York, where mm -hmm. supervisors would physically lock all of the exits to prevent their employees from taking quote unquote breaks while working. They would lock everyone on the factory floors in this fucking high rise building and it caught on fire and 
lots of people unfortunately died because of it. That's one of the many reasons Regulations, we got? Regulations. are written in blood, and the companies don't give a fuck. Yep. No, they don't. That's why you need um, governmental power to step in and, and tell them what to do. Because but companies you have all those companies funding said government. Yeah, yeah. and that's yeah. the issue. Campaigns. Um, it's, it, I, I won't point fingers, but I do know there were some very specific politicians behind removing a lot of those regulations that prevented corporations from getting involved in politics. I, um, we, one, we, one thing that I truly miss is how back in the day, the BBC banned political advertisements on their televised and radio networks. That sounds nice. Yes, it does. Especially after I have had nothing but political ads. Like, they played the same Science two ads. Regulations against smear campaigns. Yeah, they played the same two, two mudslings back to uh, back pan? for three minutes. Me? Pan, 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 pan. I pan? think the politicians knew they were talking about them. <laughs> Oof. Can you hear me now? Don't give in, pants. Stand your ground. My network. Let's try reconnecting, guys. Wait, 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 maybe, maybe. Hmm. Okay, guys, we are going to attempt to reconnect to our friends here in a minute. Also, welcome to all new viewers. My Yay! name is Karama X Neve or Karama Woof. Uh, if you're looking at my Twitter handle, I'm a variety streamer and uh, I do Eve Online stuff. He is good. Woof, woof. He also goes by Sark and uh, what, what were some of the others? Reich? Riker. Uh, Leash Boy, I think. Riker. Uh, if, if someone uh, calls Leash. me Riker, then they're an OG friend. <laughs> hi. Uh, this. Hi, this is Kurama. His name is Identity Crisis Wolf. I feel that. Uh, he is He is also a werepoodle. <laughs> Okay, you need an avatar for that on stream. <laughs> See, that costs money. But wait, tell me Google. about it. So we got me back. But yes, is it really you? Yay! Tell or something only the real pants would know. Tell something the only the real pants would know. Let's see. My favorite confection is a is a banana split. I have no idea if that's what the real pants would go for, so I'm going to believe it. But the government would be able to pull her receipts from the Sunday shop. Mm -hmm. Babsy evil. <laughs> I've, I've got one. What was the specific word I used when asking about your painting and determining whether or not it was Jupiter or not? Oh. Uh, you were ta asking me about if it was imaginary or if it was a replica or realism realism this is the fake pants <laughs> oh, i God. use i use rendition rendition, rendition. oh my Artist gosh rendition. dude autism brain goes <laughs> okay we will give you <laughs> one chance out of pure fairness to rectify this oh, okay. scrupulous oversight. What variety of paint were you using to paint these planets with? Acrylic. No, you said it was pearlescent colors. Oh, pearlescent, yeah. The... <laughs> Smart asses. This is a fake pant. This is the government mole. I'm literally sitting here with an acrylic palette in my hand. <laughs> and sponges. Not a sponge. How many fingers am I holding up? I don't know. Because Zoroarks only have three. Or four. The government, well, the government would know the answer to that because they're spying on everyone. Yep. 
So the, the fact that Pant didn't know the answer means it's the real Pant. Or she I'm could so kind just of be, sus. Yeah, she could just be playing it off. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I I could could do something that only the the real Pant knows. All right, what's that? Zim, you'll understand this race. Good luck and good loots. It's a fake! <laughs> fake! <laughs> that was literally on the bottom of every receipt at Mystic. <laughs> good luck and good loots. <laughs> I feel like that's something the government would know, though. No, yeah. not really. <laughs> now, do you think they look that closely? The IRS does. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say. The IRS <laughs> doesn't have the customer receipts. <laughs> you ever um, think that the people in the IRS like sit at their desks in black suits and shades just going, how can I fuck up this person's life? Considering... Yes, actually, yeah. they do have some of the receipts from Mystic. Oh, fair. You have them as hey, uh, expenses, the postal huh? postal service has a law enforcement Yeah, I, I, I did mm -hmm. register some of them as expenses. You know what? Good for you. Good for <laughs> you. <laughs> but it's like, the U.S. Postal Service, like, has all, like, the, the dirty stuff on people. Like, yeah, you know the, how... the U.S. Postal Service has their own law enforcement division. They have a special forces team. Wait, what? They, they do. do. Say, so do the National Park Service. Well, I knew yeah, the, the National, National Park had so, had. Uh, yeah, you've even got the uh, Special Forces. National Park Investigative Service, which is basically like the FBI of the National Park Service. Well, yeah, with how often people, you know, go into national parks and set up marijuana farms and use it for drug trafficking, I'm not surprised. Yeah, actually, their primary caseload is people who don't pay park fees, and they will track them down across state lines. That's uh that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> you didn't pay admission to this park. <laughs> oh, you have violated the law. Oh, like then I've violated it several times because there yeah. was there's like no tow booths on the canyons around here. And I I don't think I've paid fees to do anything but camp up the canyons. <laughs> Oh, no, so when, no, you, no, when you disappeared, that was just a special forces team? Yeah. Uh, and a confession. Yeah. That's all right. If they want to come after me for the, what, like, 50 bucks I owe them, I'll pay them 50 bucks. Actually, there's legislature where they could give you a penalty of up to $500,000. Good lord. I think, though, that that's reserved based on how many instances... <laughs> No, you did it say is, multiple. It, yeah, it is multiple, plus there would be the length of time duration over how many years they could add the severity. And... Yeah, yeah. I think in Utah they don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, because, it's Utah. Yeah, it's don't Utah. A ranger in Utah that manages everything. Yeah, exactly. Because our mountains are so rich in, uh, in resources that, you know... They want as little oversight as possible so that they can sell off the land. Whereas in Nevada, everything's been nuked to hell and back. Yeah, but yeah. you've got such a nice glowing evenings now. It's nuclear radiation, but... Eh. Well, that's why Nevada's so hot. <laughs> they just left the radiation going. Exactly. They well, the well, they, well, well, they, they don't. They don't want you to take the radiation out uh, out of the state. That's why. <laughs> Hold on. Cross interstate radiation laws. What is this, Zim? Oh, there's supposed to have been a. Uh, I, I was looking <clears throat> for secrets on this map. Just because I want to make sure that I get the most complete playthrough of this game. And supposedly there's a transfer creature box up here somewhere, but oh. 
it's in an area oh. that the that the computer already would have uh, mined out. Hi, Emerald. That's a big yikes. Sounds like. Yeah, I want that. So I can send my knight on to the next level. You can't have it. Oh, I know what it is. Right in front of the transfer box, there's uh, Ganondorf standing there going, You shall not cast. Ganondorf? You mean Gandalf? Yeah, Gandalf. No, I'm pretty sure my double door. Oh, right. The big fat guy in the white robes with the, mm -hmm. like, demon face. Yeah. What? Sir. I am now confused, and I am questioning nothing, because I'm busy. <laughs> Hi, busy. I'm dad. <laughs> I was gonna go with my mom. Jim, that makes me want to leave call. Okay. How, hey, Asterix, how are you doing? One moment, I have a strategic resource discovered. I must tend to this. Mm. <sighs> okay, it's going that... Oh, but it's going to come back this way. Yeah. Why are these battleships so... Uh... Hey, Emerald, good to see you. How you doing? I'm sorry I didn't see your chat sooner, Emerald. So mean. I'm a little focused. Neurodivergent hyper-focus hyper go wee! I thought it was Squee. Wee! Whatever! <laughs> be playful. I'm sorry, Emerald. I don't have the energy to be scared today. Hey, Rygon. What's up? As a Pokemon, you can catch, right? You're, like, technically part cat dog thing I'm a feral creature you yeah. <laughs> but you can catch that's what my count too fast that was like baseball <laughs> pitcher throw feel that also, what kind of a cat thing have you ever seen play catch uh, uh, I don't know I've seen some really cat. weird cats my sister's uh, Russian Here, blue. Let me... No, do not break that. Do not let that thing out. Break it? I heard break it. No. I heard break it. Break yeah, it. that's what I heard. Yeah. Let's break it. Break it. What did you find, Zim? Where's that ethereal Morning. influence ah! card? Gosh dang find? it. Uh, I'll, I'll use my internet spaceship to break it. <laughs> How's that song going? He has he has delved oh, 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 too deep. Oh, oh, oh. He has Break awakened everything. a monster in the deep. He has awakened a monster in the deep. Oh, brr, brr. All right, there's that one. Well, here, Rygon, let me give you like the best possible chance to catch things. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm I can I can do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I... Also, I just want to say, guys, uh, guys and gals. Everyone here, um, I have managed to stream all day Eve Online without having rapid onset ship deconstruction. Huzzah! I have no idea what that means. Means he ship hasn't had his, his uh, ship explode. Hey, very nice. Susie it almost that. exploded. Yeah, but it didn't, and that's what matters. It did. <laughs> I now have white paint everywhere. Great way to end the night. Help a blueberry and a grandmaster nightfall. Yo, yo. I have no idea what any of that means, but congratulations, Evolution. I'm happy for Wait you. Wait a second. 
I know Grandmaster Nightfall is a Destiny 2 term. I don't know. What does the blueberry mean? Maybe Willy Wonka got involved? Maybe. Maybe a joking about you? I'm not a blueberry. We can fix that. I really uh, prefer not. <laughs> New Just players. Go Willy Wonka on this. Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. I'd rather be a Martin than a blueberry. Oh, blueberry is what they All call right, new we'll players. Oh. Alright, we'll make you a uh, Martin. Not a ferret? Wow, rude. But as long as you're a duke, I'm okay with that. The contract has been sealed. Yeah, I should still wait till my new design comes out. Whenever it's finished. Hey, Ragon, you like clips in your Discord, right? Yeah, I certainly don't mind them. No, I was just trying to figure out where you want them posted. Oh, where I want them uh, posted? E. Oh, let me take a look at the Discord. Oh, there's a clips channel. Okay. Yeah, there's a clips channel. It's like I could have sworn I had one in there. I didn't know if you wanted it in chat on stream or where. Um, I'm gonna have to get a picture of what I look like after the painting today. <laughs> I have. Oh, I see the clip you posted. White paint yes. splatter Every everywhere. <laughs> Everyone deserves to see you attempting to catch. <laughs> Ow. Because hey, with that clip. If someone does the clip shout out, it has a chance of coming up. Hey, Gypsy, it's going all right. I'm a bit low energy today, so I'm just kind of hanging, procrastinating before I work in the morning. I'll probably just go to work early, do some notes, so that way my boss doesn't yell at me. If so I fix, I sit. Eat the box. Eat the box. Eat the box. Eat the box. <laughs> and when I disappeared earlier, I had work. Call me, so I had to jump off the phone. Oh. Despite the fact that I made a literal binder of emergency procedures, they still had to call me for the fire alarm going off. Of course. Mm. What do I do about this <laughs> with fire alarm? But we have the stupidest placement for a CO2 sensor in our pool chemical room. Yikes. <laughs> don't hang myself? Oh, don't worry, Emerald. I'll be alright. To be fair, there should be a chemical sensor for leaks in there, but it no, should it's be a, it's a CO2 to sensor. No, it's literally just a CO2 sensor. No, no, but you know what I mean? It should be a sensor in there to detect the toxic atmosphere. But... but there should, yes. But not that one. <laughs> but did, no, not a CO2 sensor in the pool equipment room. Nope. No, evolution. Tearing out a fire alarm just simply makes it matter. Uh, if we tore it out, the fire marshal would get mad at us, more so than he already is, over the fact that our fire alarm system isn't actually connected to anything in a hotel that houses people. Yeah. That's a problem. Wasn't in the budget. Yeah. If you take out no, the vibrating they... fire alarm, the fire marshal starts vibrating. <laughs> actually, with anger. The, actually, the fire marshal vibrating with anger is why they disconnected the fire alarm from the phone line in the first place. Ah. Because of the CO2 alarm in the pool was being a nuisance to the fire department. Who it's like was it's literally going off too much. <laughs> yet the fire department was literally across the road from us. Oh. <laughs> well, are they going to just send a guy over, you know, peer out the window and see if the place was on fire? They literally could. The, the fire department, police department, and city hall are literally in the same building across the road from us. <laughs> well, 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 I have a question. Who, who require you to put a CO two sensor in a place where, where, where it doesn't belong? Fire code. <laughs> Fire code. Fire yep. code did. 
Ma made up by your fire marshal, I'm guessing. No, nope. state fire code. State law. Mm -hmm. <laughs> made by state man. Do made you, by Mr. State man who do you have, uh, can, uh, Well, can you get um, vents installed in your um, pool room to vent? Our pool room is literally has a double set of doors that goes outside in it. In addition to the vents. It still goes off. <laughs> because that's at how least, sensitive those are. At least once a week. I feel that. It is to the point where both myself and my general manager and our maintenance lead have all given the front desk our own personal codes to the fire system to turn it off to turn it off only under the exception that it is the fucking pool sensor if it's anything else call us yep they call me hey the fire alarm is going off it's like yeah i can hear that well like do we need to evacuate the hotel what's the panel at the front desk say did you read the book that I literally spent an hour typing up? Because when I was hired as AGM, we didn't have any emergency procedures. Oof. It, Hello, Sunry. Good to see you. It's like, well, no, I didn't look at it. The fire alarm went off, so I called you. Great job. Now go read it and then call me. It's like, okay. You're you're at the front desk. There's a phone on both sides of the desk. There's one literally under the fire alarm panel. Go to that one. Yeah. Put put this one on hold. Or transfer it to the other line. What does it say? This is pool room. It uh -huh. says P L C H. It's like cool. That's pool chemical room. Mute the fucking alarm, put it on silence, or turn it off. Yep. Mm -hmm. Poor break performance. What is causing poor break performance? In the instructions are unclear. Unplugged whole system. Yeah. Well, we had someone do that. Don't even joke about it. Sorry. So. Right. Go ahead. So. One of our front desk people on nights did read the book, but then decided to take additional action. They then went to the master panel, thinking that they could try to go through the menu options to just disable the sensor. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got our random surprise inspection for the quarter from the fire marshal who chewed us out for having the system completely turned off. Oof. Oof. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, there it is. I work with a bunch of idiots, but I can't hire anyone. One, because I... no one wants to work for ten dollars an hour two my gm refuses to raise the front desk pay yeah around here front desk pay is 15 to 18. yeah my gm strongly believes that the front desk pay shouldn't be over ten dollars an hour yeah no that's like half of industry standard it's we like... just had a conversation on that <laughs> Oh yeah, you were here for that one. Mm -hmm. If you think that's bad, you should see our housekeeper rate of pay. Uh, housekeepers are notoriously underpaid. Uh huh. It's Everyone so bad. is notoriously it... underpaid. Yeah, that. It's so I bad. I cannot our... figure out. Our head housekeeper mm. has to do rooms. She's I, I supposed... cannot, for the life of me, figure out where the hell this transfer creature box is. In the All last right. place you look. I'm gonna head out, team. Uh, it's I've been doing this for ten hours, and I'm uh, I need to I need to sleep and go do something else, and actually go touch grass and or eat. sand. Eat something. Good. Night. Good. 
Not Nature how you turn the must sort right, right, or additional names here may apply. You know, you're... I'm just gonna say you're close. <laughs> anyway, if y'all enjoyed the stream, uh... Hit, yeah, hit me up with follow, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm streaming with a lot of people here. If uh, y'all wanna just... I guess... I don't have anyone's names. I only know Rygone and Zim. Hey cool. everyone, if you like the stream tonight, uh, make sure to give Kurama a follow, and if you really like the channel and you're financially stable to do so, feel free to also sub to the channel, that'd be very nice. Co-streaming with him on Discord today is Krazim, you can find him on Twitch at R-A underscore Z-I-M. You have Arzadu. Arzadeu. Arzadeu. Uh... Panthenia, Silverwood, Rygon, and myself with uh, special guest Zoroark. I'm, and I'm me, Rygon. Spirit, who is horrible at pronouncing any single name imaginable. <laughs> I'm, I'm Rygon Plays. I'm Panthenia underscore Silverwood. Yeah, it's Rygon Plays. Get it right. <laughs> I, I, I need this transfer creature box, but I can't find it. You can't <laughs> handle the creature transfer box. And uh, co-streaming with us today is I need the treat uh, the I need the creature transfer box, formerly known as Rosim. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for the follow of three Medi. Three Medi is a goofy goober. I love that name. Okay, I found a resurrect creature box that mm -hmm. wasn't on the wiki of being here. Nice. Do -do -do. Ah! My tablet died. Uh oh. J Hits, you work for Alamo National Archives? Oh, I found the transfer creature box. Yay! I am Rygon Plays, the sweetest evolution on Twitch. I try. I'm so sweet that if you give me a lick, you get diabetes. <laughs> I know my I know my job is is done when I can at least make one person chuckle with my stupid jokes. J hits. I used to transfer to you when I worked at Delta. <laughs> Seven hundred bucks. Jeez, just buy a new car at that point. If you can get a brand new car for seven hundred bucks, I don't know where you're buying it. So I can buy one. And it's Amen. called the uh, five finger discount. <laughs> it, 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 it's called looking for junkyard. That's fair. No, my mask pulled off one of my layers of paint. Oh no. Alright, I'll work with it. I can manually work. It's, it's a happy little accident. Happy exactly. little accident. I can just reapply it on this one planet. I only did it to one of them. You got some happy little trees, some yeah. happy little clouds, some Oh, I haven't even started the happy little paint. trees yet. Some Hello, Zach, little, please. Some happy little toast being slapped out of Rygon's happy little mouth. <laughs> I make a collab with Bob Ross. I'm actually thinking about potentially watching a Bob Ross video while painting in VR. I was thinking of doing that. That's a... I mean, you could do that, right? Yeah, should be easy enough. Yeah. Uh, Just get the permission of the Bob legal. Ross Foundation. Yeah. That's you can me out at... Get the permission of the Bob Ross. <laughs> Emerald's YouTube calling me the next. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I scoff at such things. The Bob <laughs> Ross Foundation is still very much active in protecting the IP. Yeah. See you, Zach's plays. Which I, I feel is stupid because it's literally over 40 years old. No, it has to do with the fact that they took it away from him and his family and they're making too much money on it. Yeah. 
Wait, what? Oh, yeah. yeah. Bob Ross Foundation is not owned in any way, shape, or form by the Ross family. They kicked the family out so they could pander and shamelessly sell more money with art sets and everything when the family didn't want it. Yep. And to keep that money, they are very tight with the IP. They even sued Adult Swim over their impersonation of Bob Ross and Robot Chicken. And won. Emerald's over here calling me the next Bob Ross. Oh, don't, God! Don't. that That's a lawsuit waiting to happen, too. <laughs> All right, then no I'll just wonder the these thieves uh, convert to my side so fast. Horrible, horrible working conditions. Um, well, apparently their method of uh, torture is uh, getting pounded on the crotch repeatedly. Ouch! I'd probably convert, too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there's someone watching stream somewhere who would be like, I don't see the problem with that. I could handle that. Yeah, sure. Sure you could. There's only enough some people are into that. I was about to say, okay, or we the don't furry need who's to... like... We're, we're well aware of that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was just going to make the joke with Beavis and Butthead style and do the laugh. <laughs> Editing done. Save your art. Going to get sleep nearly one and I work in like five hours. Sure thing, Evolution. Thank you for stopping on by and I hope you have yourself a good rest. I don't plan on going to sleep because I'm stupid. I probably won't sleep tonight, hey, but that's because I didn't get up till almost seven o'clock this tonight. Master Mechanic Esper? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could actually work on cars like this in real life. Hey, you just need to get ASC certified. No, I'll just, I'll just follow. Degree. I'll just simply follow along, and then they'll just say, like, okay, so which parts light up to let me know what's, what's to do next? <laughs> <laughs> I think they would walk you out at that point. Probably. I'm pretty sure I get a little bit more than a walkout. You're right. Uh, cartoon style, they would pick you up by your collar and your ass and then toss you out and dust their hands off. There we go. Or they would chase you out to the Benny Hill music. We gotta have one of those Scooby Doo moments though, where I go into like a set of doors and they fall in behind me, and they were all just like mixing and matching doors, running I mean, at as they face me. I mean, naturally. There's a starter missing. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, you need a Bulbasaur, a Charmander, or a Squirtle to make that car run. Huh. Well, well, you more, you more likely will need a Squirtle or a Charmander. I I don't know how vines would help you get a car moving. Pushing. You wrap them around the axles and then uh, unwind them. Or you know, the Bulbasaur can actually act as a starter, just in a uh, old hand crank Model T. I was going to make a very much different joke with what I thought you were going with. <laughs> I was going to say biofuel. I mean, <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> I'm going to hell. We oh, are. wait, I already knew that. Never mind, I'm fine. Okay, what's my next order? I'm like Gregon. I should be going to sleep. I've got an interview for a second job. All right, tomorrow. Henry. I will do that. But I'm not going to because I'm dumb. No. I'm trying. Emerald says, "No, don't burn the Bulbasaur." <laughs> burn the Bulbasaur. I heard burn the Bulbasaur. <laughs> now. You said Henry, right? 
Emerald. Oh, Emerald. Now, Emerald, we don't just simply burn the Bulbasaur. That would be inhumane. Uh, first, we euthanize it, then we grind it up, dry it out, and then burn it. See, I've thought this through. <laughs> Yo, man, your car's, like, really cool. The smoke is letting off. It's kind of making me feel good. <laughs> okay, mistresses. I understand you like to be spanked. Would you please stop taking these spots? Oh. They are for actual torture victims. Emerald's like, that's worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Emerald, I can think of much worse ways. Oh. <laughs> Th this is just for the simple starter of the car. Wait until you hear about what we do for the actual biofuel portion. I mean, it takes more than just one Bulbasaur for that. <laughs> we need at least 50. Yeah, 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 but yeah, I'm not gonna make that joke. <laughs> Damn it. Here I am just harassing Pam's chat. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. My Pam, uh, my, my, my chat does not get harassed as much as they should. Huh. Oh, well, I'm always open to harass them. <laughs> Emerald's threatening to beat people oh, up. Exactly. <laughs> No, Emerald's very protective oh, of other uh, uploaded. Of, of other grass types. Uh, they are a leafy on after all. Oh, that is fair. Do, do you guys have uh, so so how 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 often have do you replace the transmission fluid in those vehicles? By gone. Senri... Uh, not as often as I see the headlight fluid. Senri Wolfer, <laughs> so Emerald. Uh, in one of the other streams, Senri Wolfer says, Have you tried Pikachu Ragu? <laughs> Ragu? I, I don't know the liquid cooling oh, headlights Lord. nowadays. <laughs> yeah, there's Pikachu Ragu, there's the Bulbasaur biofuel, let's not forget the Squirtles are the cooling systems. Yeah. Squirtle radiator fluid. No, for some, for some reason, schools actually would like that. I mean, oh no, we we maybe. don't use the whole squirtle. The shells are obviously too chunky to use as cooling coolant. We ah! meow that. All right, I need to step away for a little bit. I will be back. <laughs> I'm getting uh, a okay. wake. What? Enjoy your break. <laughs> and then being told that the meow is cute, so that's why they keep meowing at me. Meow is cute. My meow uh, is so that if I'm not seeing chat, because I'm super hyper focused, they can get me to look at chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I was, if I had a thing like that set up and it was like just a cat meowing, if I was meow. doing a late night stream where I was tired, I'd be like, where the fuck's my cat? Why is he <laughs> being a bitch? It's a pretty cute little meow, um, but my cat passed away in 2020, so I have less of a problem with going, where's the damn cat? That's all right. He was 16 years old. He was an old boy. It's pretty, that's a pretty healthy age for a cat. Yeah. Well, well here, I will, I will contribute into making you look at chat. Yes, Emerald, my cat me. does haunt me. Yeah. I like, don't say that. My my mother and my sisters are all about that kind of stuff. No, no, no. Um, literally, I will be sitting here. There will be no fans on, nothing, and shit that is perfectly fine on top of something will fall over. So I know my cat is haunting me. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, time no, for the... happy trees. So no, the real the real joke, Pan, is it's not your cat. It's just some random ghost cat that wandered in. Yeah, probably. So is that just nature cats anyway? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Sure I'm thanks, back. Henry. Go ahead and club all those seals in that server. That sounds horrible. They make very cute sounds as they try to get away. Yeah, if you play bump the seal, they go or That's so mean. Why would you why would you bonk the poor little seal? I don't bonk him, Sentry does. No, 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 you, you just take a screwdriver and, and remove them from engines. <laughs> I bonked the seal because it's not a dugong. Huh. It was making a joke that, 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 that seals, that the part that seals oil in the engines also called seal. Hey. Went above my head. Well, I got it, I just refuse to acknowledge it. I am I'm not mechanically on inclined enough with that kind of for that. Most things have seals on them, though, including my butt. That she does. Oh, it's healthy, right? I depends on where the seals located. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I was about to say. <laughs> it 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 should be an any, not an Audi. We'll just say that. Yeah. So, is it supposed to be when you fart that you're supposed to be, you know, hearing this, like, intake sound? <laughs> I think that means that you are no longer human, but a swamp dragon. So, I, I think we need to reel back from this specific portion of the topic, just for TOS. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but you didn't even get to hear my sound effect. <laughs> the, so the sound effect is you getting banned by Twitch and going, aww. Because <laughs> you'll lose all your toast money. Oh, or, toast money. Or, or, or Zam muting you. Thank you for the follow, Max SF. Yeah, you'll be careful. Wouldn't... Zim will pull you, put you in naughty jail. Zim uh... wouldn't put him in naughty jail or mute him. He'd yeet him straight into the sun. Yeah. True. Oh. I guess I can't do fart jokes anymore. <laughs> Access to the bottom of the canvas. Rygon, Senri said something that gave me an idea for a redeem. Uh oh. That you would totally be stealing from Zim. What's that? I just have a redeem called clubbing, and it's where you get pelted with a bunch of glow sticks. <laughs> Could do that. I can also just make the make it a rave. Just go <laughs> a rave where you get pelted by a bunch of glow sticks. There we go. See, now there's the creative twist what on it. What are you it. staring at? You? The TV Pocket screen? Pocket Tank is sitting here staring at my, uh, at my monitor. Oh, he's wiggling his toes on stream. <laughs> his toes are showing up on the camera. <laughs> oh. I'll try to... Pets can be silly, silly like that. Yeah, yeah, except he's not my pet, he's my spouse. Oh, sorry, I... Uh, sorry. <laughs> Pocket Tank is my husband of 15 years. That's a very so long-lived cat, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, really. We, again, we're getting into the realms where we should probably consider our words very carefully. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, but I'm half asleep and I mistook what you meant. Yep. No, the 
the misunderstanding is okay. The continuation of the... Continuation? I can continue. Uh, something, something, furballs. I don't know. Make it that what you will. <laughs> oh, I just figured out how your uh, stuff keeps falling over. Huh? Your, your dearly departed cat is just possessing your husband, so he just slaps things off of shelves for them. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, something like that. Hello there, I F B F J O D N W K J J D B. How are you doing? That's a mouthful. Yeah, it is. Oh, thank you for the pets, all. Mucho appreciated. Oh, I thank you for the drink. Uh, I don't exist. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the pets. I didn't know you didn't exist. I get pets and a drink. This is awesome. This is wonderful. My chat does care about me. Luke. Not like those people keep throwing balls at me. <laughs> I want to throw a ball at you just for that and say it like this, but I also want to force you to change to Vaporeon. You certainly can if you got the channel points. I He's only got the points for one. <laughs> I, I would. And I'm on pelting you incessantly. Good, my plan is working. I could just be mean and say, work up trust, you make me a mod, and then refund my channel points from everything. <laughs> I don't think mods have the power to do that. Yes, yes, yes you can, they actually. Do. Oh. Yep, mods have I, that power. I mod for a number of channels, because I'm crazy, and when I'm viewing my friends, I decided to do that. I get you. Go to... Oh, no, Zorak redeemed it. Alright, give me a second. Thank you, Zorro! Now we can dump him in the lake and not have to worry about high water levels. Let me yeah. just do that. There it is. Yeah, yeah, he'll just melt into a puddle. No, because vapes have hmm. absorbed. The ults have absorbed. acid armor. The ults have acid armor. Yeah, but I don't think Gregon has acid armor. I I don't know. I got enough sassy armor though. Let's see what else. Repair all running gear faults. Twitter. What's the other running gear fault? Do, 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 do. Everything on this car is so shitty. I don't actually know what's wrong with it. <laughs> Everything. That's what's wrong with it. It's one of those times where it's like, dude, dude, it would save you so much time to just completely get a new engine. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's true. Don't remind me of that I will probably need a new engine on my car soon. Oh, well, <laughs> Oh, is that it? No, that's not it. Actually, a law mechanic. I... I am 
just under 270,000 miles on my car. And it broke? No. I'm, I'm going to go AFK for a bit. Sure. Okay. It's a... Especially the engine is not a rare engine. They'll just say replace the whole entire engine. Yeah, it's a... It's a hybrid Toyota. So it's kind of built to last, but I don't expect it to last forever, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying that rarely do, rarely do, do mechanics rebuild engines. Well, I figured yeah. out what the bad part is. It's the big thing. Well, duh. Which means I have to take it all apart. Though, to be fair, the body of my car is in really good condition. Nearly perfect condition. Because I have a knack for hitting wildlife that runs out in front of me. Mm. I live in an area and then drive 45 minutes one way to work. Got through it. mostly rural roads. Oh, I'll that do are, it. That'll, that are 60 miles per hour. Or 100 kph, roughly. Thing runs out, you don't have time to stop. Oop. Usually. Not usually. I've I've had to replace side panels on both sides. I've had to replace my front bumper and headlight assembly multiple times. I've had to replace my front hood now on this recent one. And once coming out of my fucking garage, there was a friggin' set of deer in my garden. Jeez. That got spooked when I started backing out of my garage. So I've had to replace my back bumper, too. <laughs> yeah. The body of the car is in nearly perfect condition because it's all been replaced at some point. Oh, no. Meanwhile, the local dealership keeps wanting to buy my Beetle from me because it's at extremely low mileage for its year. Meanwhile, the auto shop I take my car to, like, three times a year because I keep hitting wildlife, is pretty much on a first-name basis with me and everyone in there. <laughs> I call, wow. and they recognize my number and ask me what I hit this time. <laughs> if I told you, I'd have to kill you. I'd tell you, but you could probably already guess. Let's just say I'm in the I'm in the neighborhood for getting a new neighbor. <laughs> Let's just say my insurance agent does not like how many times I speak to her. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> One year I had really bad luck where I had, within a week, three separate reports of hitting a deer. Oh, dear. I, I called my insurance agent a few months later, just, just for a random policy question, and she answered, what did you hit this time? <laughs> it's like, hey, so-and-so, it's me. I just calling it. What did you hit this time? Just flat out cut me off. <laughs> it's like nothing. I had a question about this policy. Yes, I want it. Come on, pick it up. go do they give you discounts now as a freaking crasher no the exact opposite i'm sure i'm sure your insurance premiums are way up actually no because it's considered incidental and act of god no oh very nice wildlife is covered under incidental slash act of god so i just play the pay the deductible 
and they can't legally jack up my rate for it. Have they tried to total my car multiple times? Yes. Have have I made a certain someone at the auto body shop that I frequent really hate State Farm Insurance with a burning passion because of it? Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I just want to pay my $250 and get my car fixed, okay? The one year was nice. For Christmas, he covered the deductible for me. That was Aww. nice. Aww. Me single-handedly bringing his kids through college, Senri? At the very least, I've given them a healthy college fund over the last seven years. Actually, no, I think I am, because one year, I went like eight months without calling him, and he actually reached out to see if I was okay. Yeah. That's so, that's nice, but it also now, means that you're, you, you probably thought you had one accident that was your last. It's like, oh shit, my kids won't afford college now. <laughs> to call and see if he's alright. It's like, hey! I just haven't heard from you in a while. You doing all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've just been busy with work. Are you still driving? Yeah, I'm still driving. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just worried. I hadn't heard from you in a while. It's like... Uh, tell me that I have too many accidents without telling me I have too many accidents. <laughs> uh, you know I have too many accidents when my cars start going by the names of hurricanes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Box Blue. Hi, Box. How the heck are you? How was sleep? Did you sleep okay? Oh, okay, that's not enough. Okay, Ragon, I'm not gonna lie. What's I up? kind of want to rate accidents throughout the year by the National Weather Service's hurricane list and see who finishes first. Mm -hmm. But at the same point. I really don't. Dang it, Fox! I, I, um, I uh, understand it can be hard to sleep. I know I don't get enough, but... You know I things, care about you and want you to be better. So, Care Kitty says, is there anything okay. I can do? What? I said, Self-Care no, Kitty don't. says... Is there anything I can do? To whom? To help Vox and Zim sleep. You're gonna play throw ball game? What yeah, is squirrel. this throw ball game? <laughs> oh, Peglin. You gonna be streaming shortly? You know, if you want to hang out with us on voice, you're more than welcome to. Hey, Vox. Don't fight. Much. Much. <laughs> hey Vox, I thought the throwball game was was different. I thought this was the throwball game. It is not. Oh, you want me to join you on the server, Henry? Uh, maybe tomorrow. I'm pretty tired. I'm too tired to be right. creative. Oh, that's right. You were telling me I should get back on Minecraft yesterday. Yesterday? Two yeah, days ago, sure. technically. Alright, yeah. let's save this and move on to the next level. Do you find it be stories. Please be quiet for a moment, everyone.
Okay, we're good. Hello, okay. Box. Hello there, Coda. Hello, Cereal. Cereal? Ooh, I hope it's Lucky Charms. But only the you marshmallows. Seem to have started... You seem to have started a trend. Two other dungeon keepers also have designs on this dark domain. Expect no quarter from your rivals. Yes, but my rivals are apparently always allied for some reason. <laughs> They do that. It's against the law. Ugh. Stretch the oh, arm. It should be. Up the elbow. So, Raygon, from what I'm hearing, tonight's going to be Minecraft. Maybe later tonight, sure. Not tonight. Right now. Yeah, I'm God, no, not tonight. Like, right, right now. now. But yeah, tonight we can do some Minecraft if you want. I think Sentry wants. Yeah, I wouldn't mind it. I still got to finish up that one house. Not that I have to finish it up, but you know what I mean. I could come on and build a nice big inn. There you go. Put a couple rooms in it. Watch me take like five years to build it. It looks like the map is ready to go to the Netherlands. To go to what? Looks like the Vappy's ready to go to an inn and relax. Yeah, I'm getting there. I thought it was Santa Vap. They had to go around and deliver all the toys. All the toys. Yep, you little trees. Back to toys. <laughs> All right, let's get a lair. Let's get a library. Oh, that's not going to be big enough. You're building up the mine, Sunry? This will be a big enough area for the library. New caller, who this? <laughs> oh, it's Vox. Vox! Hello! Hi, the... Hey, welcome! Oh, Who are we saying hi to? Vox. Are they here? Give me, give me, give me, give me. But you're so quiet. That's because I'm not sitting down yet. Oh. Then I shall hold off on turning you up. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hello, puppy. Hello. I need a puppy. Ah. Hello. Ah, uh, puppy. Yes, ah, someone said puppy, Henry. Yeah. Yes, we've got a Vox here that has joined us. There's a Vox, Bubba. Vox, Bubby. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I enjoy these nice, chill hangout nights. Yeah, this is fun. Uh, don't worry, while you were gone, we were chaotic. Oh, I was listening while I was gone. Did then, you get yourself on behalf of everyone. We're technically sorry. The best kind of sorry. Yeah. The not sorry, sorry. Oh, where's the bolt, Hellcat? Left tail, I'd see. The not oh, sorry, know. but legally obligated to say sorry, sorry. I just thought I'd stop by and hang out for like a couple minutes. I can get started. Oh, it's lovely to have you here. It is always a joy to hang out. I wish I could do it more often, but the music is just so loud and compels me to bop. <laughs> I love to bop. Fair. You should always bop, though. Be a bop a bop. Yes. 
Bop, we're at to level 20 now. Hey, Lily, good to see you. Oh, you gotta go to college? Okay. It is well, a Lily. Oh, we got the achievement screws on fire. I think that might be done. <laughs> Night, old pal. Good night, see ya. Alt pal, mod mm. of 8 billion Twitch channels. Hi, Lily. Good to see you here. Glad you could say something before you headed off. Oh, I got the sleepy time hat. I guess that means it's time to go. Oh, here. We will knock it off for you. No! We will give you, give you your wakey time hat. I need to clean this brush ba -ba -ba -ba. back together. I've got reduced by the fourth time anyways. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I ended up having to start a little late tonight because I had to uh, clean up my stream from all of the, the birthday and Halloween goodies. I still have the cauldron out. I'm too lazy to get rid of it. <laughs> it's all oh. Saint. It's all Saints Day. Tomorrow you can remove it. it, it it's 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 still technically, it's still technically in spirit. Well, I don't want. Fair. I don't hey, want to. Also, also who what, what what who wanted me? But um. I, I don't want to do All Saints Day decorations. Do you know how many saints there are out there? There's uh, a lot. Uh. I wouldn't have any space for the stream. Well, I mean, I'm a sinner. I'm a saint. I just can't be contained. See, now there's just one more added on. This way, I'm just going to have to do a picture of the planet Earth. <laughs> you did a little expedition last night. Went 15,000 blocks away from base. That's... That sounds like a, more than a little expedition. Oh, I think this geez. might be a little laggy at this point. How do they already have such strong enemies? They've been expecting, expecting you. you. Oh, crap. Um, where did these samurai come from? Oh, crap. So Emerald, okay. I didn't break my brush. The sometimes the wood handle pulls out of the brass piece on a brush, and mm -hmm. to fix that, all you got to do is put a little bit of super glue on it. So that happened. We didn't see anything. No evidence. So uh, apparently. Um, breaking into the river down there opens you up to a bunch of uh, level 10 heroes. Well, okay uh, then. Uh-oh, it's spaghetti, y'all. Good to know. Don't do it next time. Okay, you know what, guys? I am gonna call this piece done. Nice. Good job. Very pog. But it also means that if it's done, then you're done, and you're going to go away. I'll probably still hang out. I just may not stream, because I have to clean up. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah like do a clean-up stream. Clean-up stream. I'm, no, I'm not I'm taking my camera into the bathroom. <laughs> I thought I'm you were cleaning up stuff around your desk. Oh, no, I have to go wash my brushes and everything. Well, that's appropriate for stream. That's fine. My camera doesn't fit in there. Ah, <sighs> uh, I should probably get started on notes. I'll find it in my signature metallic gold. Accidentally you, you gets you metallic uh... silver. You, you ready for Saturday yet? No. Oh. 
I still need to send you guys all the lists of what your next thing you want to be to be. Once I know that, then I'll be able to plan out the next section, but I just keep forgetting to do it. I want okay. to be a potato. Okay, Cat, you I'm going to ask ditto? you guys a favor. <laughs> What's up? I'm, I'm going to ask my chat a favor. I want oh. them to put in chat what they think I should name this piece. I've got a name. Mm -hmm. Artie McArder Art. Artie McArder. <laughs> okay. All right, hey. God, we should fully drag Fox into the uh, <laughs> into the poker roll game, and have sure, three rock roughs. So, do not want me to play a tabletop game. And I'm gonna be a gremlin. I mean, uh, I mean that makes for a good stream. Like, Pokey roll sounds fun, but you'll have to deal with the uh, Zoro. Okay, what? guys, what? I'm gonna turn the ring light off. Also, the reason yep. I suggested Artie McArder is because the state of Minnesota just bought a bunch of new snow plows and decided to let. The people following their Twitter account. I the saw name. that. And now we have the snowplow labeled Plowy McPlowface. Yes. Like there was yeah, I read about that. Option, along with along with seven others with stupid ass names. There were a couple of good ones I remember. Didn't they, didn't they, if you do the same day, you get Bodie's McBoatface. Yeah. It's an internet meme at this point. It's like, if anybody says you have to, you can name our thing. It always comes with something makes something face. Yeah. So the painting, Artie McArt face. Okay. So yeah, that's Emerald why my, that's select... why my kid, human McHuman face. You know. <laughs> no, what you need to name your child is Vappy McVap face. <laughs> so Emerald has a good and suggestion. Ask, like, oh, are you vaping? <laughs> no, just say. The kids part Vaporeon. Well, I think the Finns would give it away. <laughs> yeah, so... but some people are stupid. What did you say? It, uh, uh... You, you said something, Spirit. We asked you what you said, and then you went off on something else. I said Poke Roll sounds fun. You just have to put up with the Zoroark. Ah. But Zorark isn't in the game, and he's right yeah. here. Hey, Zorark. Hello. I'm referring to me, you dorks. Oh. Wait, I didn't know you were Zorark. I have many. Ooh, that came out really lovely. And that. I like Emerald's suggestion, Galactic Knight. Oh, ah. Hey there, SK. For oh, those who want to see, I dropped it in, in the Archer channel in this Discord. Oh, I gave them purple the hearts because it seemed appropriate. Yeah. What? What's up, Bach? Right. I'm gonna oh, transfer over to... Read the boobs. You have to what the what did you just say you needed to free the boobs? Yeah. Okay, we heard him correctly then, folks. Okay, can we get some context? Yeah, on? context. Or please, is it something we should not get context on? I had to. I made a community goal that I thought would be difficult to meet, and they met it in like a fourth of the time to make boops, which can't play the game again. Oh, boops with a P. Okay. Oh. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> we totally heard that completely wrong. <laughs> all of us did. Hmm. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't hear anything at all. Oh, shut up, Rega. I mean, it is 
November. Do we free the nut? <laughs> yep. But to everyone in, in my chat, I'm swapping over to just chatting so I can get these notes done. So time for gameplay is done for a bit. I have to actually do work now. Before I'm I an adult. Work. Yeah. I like the background. Well, and how we're you. lined up on the chairs. Yeah. That's one of the reasons I went for this one. So that way you all could be lined up on the chairs. Yay. Okay. I need to read what this goal was. A depressing underestimation of what your chat was capable of doing. I mean, yes. I mean, a hundred thousand strap in like two days. Let's Don't underestimate channel points. Don't underestimate Alex. Alex. <laughs> it means that means fifty different people donated two thousand strap in like two days. Oh. You never underestimate. Twitch chat. Yeah. Well, at least they got people to get rid of some points. I know that I have everybody just waiting to throw their pog dog. I don't want to do the pog dog. Everybody does it so early, and then my brain is fried for the rest of stream. <laughs> hey, Boss, pizza boy have, on. You, have I told you the story of Nurse Nim? Hmm. I, I I don't remember if I've told you that story yet, Vox. I feel like I've heard it. I think so. I don't remember though. Well, for those that may not know, I may not have or whatnot. So, our Wednesday D and D game. Um. One of the pal the paladins crowning, you know, level twenty ability is that they don't feel the effects of old age. The players in the group were joking about how uh, Nim would, my character Nim, would be taking care of them all when they're old and gray, and you know. We're just going to turn one of the players' houses into a nursing home, and Nim would be the nurse. And then they're like, okay, we need uh, nurse Nim art now. And I'm like, no. And they kept pushing it. I'm like, fine. $250. There you go. There's the price to unlock the nurse Nim outfit. They did it. Ten minutes later. A magnanimous dispensation! Yeah, Jaffer donated $250, and now mm. Nurse Nim is a thing. Uh, thank you. I was going to say, that's how Jim the Jaffer. <laughs> you need to bring it out. You haven't brought it out in a while. Bring it out. Bring I mean, it it's, out. On, it's on a few of the cards. I mean, I've the showed you mine. Cards. I've showed you mine. It's time for you to show me yours. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll bring it up on stream. Do it. Hey, my boobs are freed right now, so... Oh, wow. Let's see. Uh, what do I think about the setting change? I think it's a bit too late and or early for me to be thinking about something like that. I'll tell you later when I'm more rested. The setting um, change? For Minecraft. Personally, I'm fine with where it is right now. I don't care to change it. Do I need help with notes? No, this isn't something you all can help me out with. This is uh, sensitive client information. Oh, goodness. Oh, everybody's going to love it, I think. And do I know Zebra Pig? Yes, we play, we play together sometimes. They are a wonderful individual and deserving of all the love. Oh, I forgot how huge this file is. Lorge. Lorge, Lorge. I am starting to wake me up big time. But, yeah, uh, SK, that's that's definitely right. Chat loves to see the streamers suffer. I'm back, and yes, actually, no, the the people in in Discord with you like to see the streamers suffer, as I found out during my Eve stream today. Uh, hey, that's true. My my friends bullied me. Will be one of the few times I've actually been in Discord with people on my streams. 
mostly because I know y'all are a bunch of fucking gremlins. Nurse Nim. Not a gremlin, I'm a poodle, according to Zim. Wait, I just embraced it. Fuck. <laughs> yes, yes, you did. No, I'm I'm a big, scary wolf wolf. You're a big, cute, fluffy poodle. I would. I'm a cat girl who has nothing but love for the wolf wolves. Wolf wolf. Mm. I've got a lot of characters. It depends on the day. Box, you can also check Telegram. I I, I see it. I just checked. This is <laughs> adorable. I love it. You went good, wizard. Today has been Nurse... a good day. Nurse Nim Avatar for stream when? <sighs> okay, I gotta grab my handle. phone and get a look at this. <laughs> $500 plus however much it'll cost to actually get the model made. Oh my goodness. Oh, Jeff, or $500. <laughs> well, that's adorable. I need to feed. I, I need to eat, you know? That's true. The fucking mood, Zim, let me tell you. <laughs> God. <laughs> so, Into $500 plus cost of the model. I will relay that to Jeff the next time we're up. That's, uh... It's actually... Jaffer has a new baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I could see... If, if Jaffer went for the art, I could see them being interested in Jaffer this. Jaffer cannot anymore right now. Yeah, Jaffer's taking a break from his magnanimity in order to take care of a wee one. But... Kids are expensive. Wasn't something crazy like a kid costs like somewhere in the neighborhood of a couple million dollars to fully grade? I hate to admit it, but I, uh, I, I do actually adore this art. It's so nice. It is it's so good. Very I'm nice. I'm clipping that. Oh, Mary is such a fantastic artist. Is this in fan art? Is what in fan art? It's on my stream. Oh. But I can go ahead and post it. Uh, I'll post it down in our chair. It's about that time for me, y'all. I'm gonna go. Okay. Well, thank you for stopping by, and mm -hmm. you know the call is always by. open for you. Love your face. Provide an. Love your face, Fox. And I hope you have a good day. His I'll probably be raiding you eventually. I know. Well, yeah. <laughs> Let's all of us just raid Vox. Oh yeah. no. <laughs> yes, all of us. All of us. I will fire up my stream just to raid you, Vox. Yes, Timon. <laughs> yes, Wizard, that is my phone. It's making it so that I can actually respond. And I do have games on it. However, my phone will not handle running a game and a stream at the same time. Let's play Angry Birds. <laughs> Angry Birds. I want to play Angry Birds. Lately, I've been playing Marvel Snap. But that's because pocket tanks uh, drug me into it. <laughs> Vox is going to be streaming shortly, SK. He just stopped by to say hi and stuff. Speaking so of, the plan I should really is make notes of everybody that's watching him. Oh, good. Well, when I end, I will, yes. Uh, I'll be. Oh, I'm going to get booped so much. Good. <laughs> No, I don't like the boobs. They are disruptive. Oh God! I just went into my memes folder. What did I? Why do I have this in this? That's not what I meant to launch. Why is that what launched? That is not what I said to launch. No. Bad. XCOM. No. Stop it. Uh. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. 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 Where?
No, that library should be plenty big enough. Also, why is it that my non-furry friends keep sending me furry things? Because they know. No, they 100% they know. It's just they're like, hey, look at this furry. Hey, look at this furry. And it's like, bruh, I'm getting more furry <laughs> stuff from my non-furry friends than my furry friend. What the hell? Because they're trying to send you a hint that they want to invite them to a fur con. Yep. I don't know. I mean, I haven't been to a fur con, so I'm pretty sure I need to go to a fur con first. But I'll invite them. No, no, no. They're, they're saying they're open for you to invite them to furries. <laughs> okay, but my friends are Eve players. Nah, it's I, th fine. I think the amount of destruction they would cause furries. within the fandom would uh I, I don't I don't trust them. Isn't Eve that 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 like Star Citizen style game? I mean yeah. That but way more spreadsheets. Yeah, we need more accounts in the furry found fandom. Sorry, sorry, just trying to be a little playful and facetious. I mean, I, I, I would agree we do, because apparently, yeah. because furries and money, I mean, furries don't have to worry about money because apparently so many furries work in IT and keep the internet up. <laughs> yep. So it's like, they've got, like, money isn't a thing for them. Hey, Sark, what's your uh, handle on Twitch? Karama X and E. Rama X in Eve. Oh, so you murdered those... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I keep telling him he needs to get something more recognizable. Zim, every time you say that... See, I, I have a book, right? And every time you say that, I add another week to the time <laughs> before I change it. I only say this because I and want to see my friends succeed. I know, and I do it because I think it's funny. Hey, Karama. Hey, hey, hey Karama. You, you, you know, being a Persian, you, you, you should fall for this. This sentence is false. <laughs> okay. What? No, what? Paradox. Okay. Oh, right. Raiders. Also, the also the protogen is my uh, other character, Danny Droneland. He's all right, people. That's gonna wrap up our art stream for tonight. So thank you for tuning in and keeping me company tonight. I really appreciate it. All the wonderful beans that I was hanging out with in chat are now listed in the uh, listed in the chat right now. Um, make sure you give them a follow if you aren't following them. They're all really good beans and really sweet people. Now remember our four rules. Eat good food. Drink lots of water. Get, try and get eight hours of sleep a night and take your meds. Because if I can do those four things to be here to entertain you, you can do those four things to be here to support me. And together we will be healthier, we will be happier, and we will be better. As always, this stream doesn't happen without all of you, so thank you. You are wonderful, you are lovely, you are deserving of all the good in the world, and I hope you are able to achieve your dreams. Make sure you do something creative regularly and take care of your mind. As always, I will sign off with my signature. Good luck and good loot.